As the city eases lockdown restrictions, come with us as we hike parts of the Rouge National Urban Park. When summer days are upon us, it's truly necessary for city dwellers to have parklands right in their neighborhood. We began on the north side of the Vista Trail. There's a lookout deck to see the Rouge River Valley where you can see that the water level of the Little Rouge Creek has reduced since the spring flow. So here we are at Rouge Valley and we're currently hiking the Vista Loop Trail. Such a nice day for it. Sunny with a, a bit of breeze. At this point, the meadow here exists under the hydro corridors that run through the park and it must be maintained to prevent tall trees from damaging the power lines. So this creates a lot of open area filled with colorful wildflowers and butterflies throughout the spring and summer. We're now entering a part of the trail that contains dense forest cover. Historically, much of the Rouge Valley was covered in dense old-growth forests. Although some trees have been cleared for development, forests still make up a significant portion of the Rouge. Some forests in the park are part of the rare Carolinian life zone, which in Canada only exists in southern Ontario. This part of the trail was a lovely walk through the forest. Time spent in the forest is never wasted, even if that forest is within the perimeter of the city. Although you don't need hiking poles for this hike, I found that using them provided a certain degree of balance and rhythm to my walking. We then exited the Vista Trail at Twin Rivers Drive and then walked over to the entry for the western portion of the Orchard Trail where we had a so quick lunch it's, uh, stop. around 1 o'clock and we've been uh, walking for just a little over an hour and a half and we're now just going to sit down and uh, rest, have something to eat and some water and then after that we'll head back up towards up north via Orchard Trail. This part of the Orchard Trail provides a better access to Little Rouge Creek. A rusted farm equipment bears witness to the history of farming in the valley, first by indigenous people and later European settlers.
when hiking among the tall trees, don't forget to look up, way up. This part of the trail is called the Avenue of Trees. Trees here were planted by settlers during its time as part of a settlement with farms and mills. The bedrock in this area is 450 million years old. Known as the Whitby Formation, this shale rock was formed when a shallow inland sea covered much of North America and provides the underlying bedrock throughout Rouge National Urban Park. We came across a ground cover of what we believe is periwinkle on the forest floor. Periwinkle are non-native, invasive, and spread completely like in open woodlands, likely brought over by European settlers. We were just amazed by the incredible amount of birdsong throughout the park. Listen. This is the end of our Rouge Valley hike. We did a loop uh, uh, through the Vista Trail and then made our way down to the bottom of the Vista Trail and then made, uh, then turned off to Orchard Trail to loop back to where we started. Behind me are Canada geese just uh, lazing about on the, on the rock.